Kelsey Liu is a 28-year-old singer, songwriter, cellist, and an all-around mesmerizing artist. After releasing her critically acclaimed debut EP, Church, in 2016, she recently dropped her debut studio album, Blood, and I am just baffled. If I was really trying to specify what her sound was, I'd probably give you this vague description of experimental, alternative R&B, and contemporary pop with bits and pieces of disco, and generally an old-timey classical feel. Off the top of my head, some similar musicians would be Blood Orange, Solange, Serpent with Feet, and Eve to More. But here's the thing. I'm just giving you a basic feel for what Lou's sound is and who you might compare her to, to help try and reel you in a little bit. In reality, Kelsey Lou is absolutely one of a kind. She's described in interviews how her identity is in fluidity. She doesn't want to be categorized as this or that kind of artist. Her EP and album don't fall under one, two, or even three specific genres. She wants to explore. She wants to be unique. You'll see it pretty easily within the B-roll that I'm playing from her music videos and live performances. Her whole creative direction is pretty mind-blowing. You begin to comprehend what exactly this might stem from when you learn about Lou's past. She was raised in rural North Carolina by devout Jehovah's Witnesses, where she was constantly under scrutiny for her appearance, faith, and sexuality. At the time, her only real mechanism for expressing creativity was through playing the cello. This is where her love of music began, and it only grew as the years went on. Lou ran away from home at 18 to begin her pursuit for a career in the arts. As with most kids that grew up in very strict environments, she began experimenting with all the things that she wasn't able to as a child. While yes, this explosion of creativity probably led to her very unique outfits and set pieces for music videos, her past also led her to some very intimate music. On Blood, her lyrics are candid and her voice is beautiful. Most people probably haven't lived through her specific specific experiences, but the themes and the emotions are 100% relatable. While many of the songs on Blood are this blend of chamber pop and old school folk music, there's a track called Due West, which I played in the intro for this video, that feels very anthemic. It's a more cultured, well-traveled version of the rebellious, inspirational pop anthems that you might hear on the radio. That song is also produced by Skrillex, oddly enough, which helps hammer home the idea that Lou is open to anything. Another interesting track is her cover of 10cc's I'm Not In Love, which I recently talked about in my Guardians of the Galaxy video. Her adaptation of this song is pretty faithful to the original, and it's cool to see her put her own spin on it, without even having to change the song very much. Blood deals with some harsh, often negative topics, but in the end it feels more hopeful than anything. Kelsey Liu's vision is completely original, her music is too, and I definitely recommend you check out all her stuff. Thank you for watching that video. If you want to support the channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. That stuff is easy and it does help. You can follow me on social media at RenshawHS. You can buy my merch, support my Patreon, and thank you again. I'll see you soon.